We start tonight with one of my favorite rivalries, Breeze Central against Modern Day, this time for a regional title. Cougars are so good this year. That's Mason Schubert, tough layup for two. Later on, it's Modern Day's Drake Wagner. Pull up jumper, that's good. Central says we can do that too. Cody Dickshot's going to convert this shot. That's nice. Knights are going to expand the range a little bit now. Jacob Hustetti, he's good from distance. And once again, Central's going to match. Are you seeing a theme here? Chase Lewis hits this three, and it's the Cougars who knock off their crosstown rivals 51 to 37 to win the Nashville Regional and secure bragging rights in Breeze. Game of the night, another big rivalry for a regional championship. Belleville East at O'Fallon in the Panther Dome. We're going right to the fourth quarter in this game. Big plays all over the place. Rini Harris picks East Pocket, finishes with the slam. More from the high flying Panthers right now. This time it's Jalen Smith, another steal and another slam. Time winding down, East has to score here. Who do they turn to? Jordan Pickett, of course. He comes through with the clutch triple and we're tied at 50. Last shot at the game. It's bouncing around. What's going to happen? O'Fallon trying to win it, and Isaiah Camper is there to put it in with 2.8 seconds left. They would hang on to get the thrilling 52-50 victory over Belleville East and win their regional. My goodness, what a game. This was a spicy one. Vianney had to Smet, and it was Eddie Smagic. Hope I'm saying your name right, Eddie. Show. It was his show early on. Crossover, triple. That's good. Then he's going to go in the lane. Big time finish coming up, as long as a big time celebration. You know when you hit that big shot against your rival, you just got to rub it in a little bit more. Magic's going to pass this next time, though. Luke Walsh is open in the corner. He sinks the three. Smet hanging tough at home. This guy coming up has made more threes than anybody in Spartan history. That's Justin Duff. But the Golden Griffins had a road upset on their minds tonight. Walsh is going to hit another three. And Vianney goes into the Smet, beats their rival Spartans 81-64. to That is a big time performance. Bashan wrapping up their regular season against Columbia Battle tonight. Here's a wild play. This is Battle's Tay Patrick, time winding down first half. He's able to get an open look, hangs, hits it. That is a great shot. Later on is De'Aire Hill Jr. Stop and pop from the free throw, free throw line. Nice lefty shot there. Wolverines working it from deep as well. Trey Williams Jr. sinks the triple on the wing. And later on, Andre Aaron Jr. is going to barrel towards the basket. This one's good for two coming up. And Vashon finishes off their regular season with a 64-53 win over Columbia Battle. Gateway legacy on the road at Cardinal Ritter for senior night. This was a good one. Theodore Tyson Jr. is going to kick things off for Ritter. Strong to the hoop. And one. Let's get some defensive highlights going tonight. A big time block coming up from James Porter for Ritter. Always got to show the defense some love. Gateway hung tough. This guy can do it all. This is Vitor Oliveira for three from the corner. Then he's going to show off his slick moves down low as well. Nice bucket. This was a close one, but Ritter wins 52 to 44 on senior night. Let's take a look at some other playoff scores from the Illinois side on the boys and girls side. Oakville, O'Fallon, Highland, and Modern Day are among the girls' teams winning sectional titles, while Alton Marquette, Centralia, Jabot, and East St. Louis are regional winner winners tonight for the boys. Good luck to those teams on their state title quests.